guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to another candle review. So uh, earlier today, you will have hopefully or probably seen my thoughts on the brand new um, spring summer scent in Beautiful Day from Kringle Candle. And up next are my thoughts on the Essentials scent. So I'm going to show you guys where I'm at in the process with this one because as you can see, I have been burning this candle like a freaking champ. I've been lighting it every single day and that is because I love it. I love the scent. <laughs> and I'll tell you why right away. Um, it, it took me uh, being told that this is a dupe for something. And as soon as I heard what it was the dupe for, I was like, duh. <laughs> no wonder I love this so much. You guys, this is um, basically Kringle's take on Capri Blue Volcano. And if you are a lover of uh, anthropology, if you've ever shopped there, that is the fragrance that they pump through their store. It's uh, Capri Blue Volcano. I have purchased many a volcano candle. If you have purchased them before, you know that the vessel is obnoxious. Um, there are not enough wicks, and I don't really think the candle gets enough airflow, really, and it just struggles. It, um, the wicks suck. <laughs> it tunnels like crazy. It soots, and about halfway through, the fragrance really kind of turns, like, smoky smelling, and... It's, it's because I, I think it's largely probably because of their vessel, but it could also have to do with their wicks, obviously, and the wax formula that they're using. Something isn't working with the Capri Blue Volcano, but it's such a great scent, and it just is fresh and summery and citrusy and clean, and it just, it makes you smile. It's such a happy scent. So Kringle... Created Essentials, which is such a good take on that volcano scent. And it's actually better because this one I can smell. For one, I can smell it. Two, the burn is rock star. There's no problem with these wicks. There's no problems with this wax. There's no problems with the vessel. Um, love it. And this has that new um, kind of neat, like, label with this effect that looks like this is a painting on here so it's not a textured label but in the background it looks like a canvas it looks like a canvas that you would paint on so it has this neat kind of textured look to it and the artwork really does look like a painting i just think it's really beautiful um i just i, I love the new labels i'm a huge fan of these and I hope they stick around. Um, they just really, really appeal to me. Uh, this scent is top notch, you guys. So let me pull up, actually, you know what? I should have done this before starting filming, but let me pull up the fragrance notes here. By the way, this is available in the daylight in the medium two wick soy. So I have the large here. It's available in the soy blend. And it's also available in the wax melts. So if you're not ready to commit to like a full, you know, two wick soy, <laughs> you have some options. The daylights are a great place to start with Kringle. I already mentioned this in the, my thoughts on the beautiful day. Um, the daylights are a fantastic place to start because they really do allow you to actually burn the fragrance. You're not going to get much in terms of strength and throw, but you can at least smell the candle. You can smell it on cold sniff. Um, I believe those daylights actually burn for like 12 hours. They're, they're fantastic. And how much? They're 350. They're like a really nice big votive is what they are and they burn for 12 hours and they at least give you a sense of what the fragrance is like when it is on cold sniff and when it's burning and what you can expect from the candle because they use the exact same um wax so that's soy wax in those daylights as well so just gives you an opportunity to try without committing to the full size so your fragrance notes here for the two wick uh soy let's let's pull it up Pull up the old sense story. Okay. Essentials. Start your day with an uplifting combination of grapefruit, peach, and bergamot. 
to invigorate and enliven your senses. Your top notes are pear and bergamot. Your mid notes are grapefruit, peach, and violet. And your base notes are cedarwood and musk. Don't let that cedarwood and musk scare you off if you normally see stuff like that and go, Hoo, no thanks. Um, this is a very heavy citrus forward scent. You're basically on, on first sniff, you're picking up a lot of grapefruit in this. You're picking up a lot of um, like just citrusiness in general. I also get some lemon in here. Um, I get the bergamot for sure. Uh, there is some peach in here. A sort of like a soft, pretty, like peach nectar type vibe. Um, violet, I don't really pick out, like just to my nose, it doesn't really stand out to me. Um, and pear, oddly enough, I don't really smell much in the way of pear. To me, this is pretty much predominantly the mid notes um, of the grapefruit and the peach, and then also that bergamot, which is one of the top notes. This is delightful, you guys. If you have ever smelled the Capri Blue Volcano, you're gonna enjoy this. If you like that, you're gonna like this. And I am very happy to report that, unlike my beautiful day scent, um, this Essentials is kind of a powerhouse. I have the beautiful day actually off to the side here because I'm recording both of these videos like back to back. But I have this beautiful day um, sitting off to the side. The only thing I can smell is the Essentials fragrance. And this is filling the vast majority of the downstairs, like front part of my house. Uh, the strength and throw of this is exactly what I'm used to with this two wick soy formula from Kringle. So it's right around like a seven in terms of strength. It's probably actually a little bit more of like an eight in terms of throw. I really, when I have this lit, I smell it through the bulk of the downstairs of the house. Um, it's just a little bit lighter towards the back part of the house if I have this in the front living room. Um, if I have it in the entryway here, I, the entire downstairs smells equally um, equally as fruity, I guess, <laughs> citrusy. Um, just because this particular uh, entryway has really great airflow, there's, I swear, like the air just kind of swirls here and whatever I'm burning, it picks it up and it spreads it throughout the entirety of the house. So. Um, but I don't have to keep it here, and I don't have to put this one in a hurricane at all to get a good performance out of it in terms of strength. It just does it on its own. It's fantastic. Again, if you love Capri Blue Volcano, you should check this out because I bet, I bet that you would probably pick this over the volcano just based on the burn quality alone. It's so, so good. Um, I feel like that's pretty much all that I can say about this. It just, I just give it a lot of thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I would give them to you because this is absolutely beautiful. It's well done. The performance is exactly what it should be and I love it. So two thumbs up. If you found this video helpful, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new and stay tuned for more candle reviews coming up. Um, I am going to start burning some of these um, country candles that I picked up as well. So stay tuned for those. And we're just going to keep going with springtime reviews. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Dun -dun.